After our hero survived the attack from the from the Antimatter Legion and the Doomsday Beast. So now, Stell, the Trailblazer, is faced with a decision on what to do. She is given the option to join the Astral Express. But she wants more time to think, and she was also part of the experiment that Herda put together, and it was called the Simulated Universe. So Stell needs some more time to think, but a new quest has has occurred that a, and, and she wants to find Arlen and listen to the space station star echo remnants. <laughs> so in order to use the time to think, you know, Stell decides to go find Arlen. I'm your friendly neighborhood Starman, and this is the full story of Honkai Star Rail. <clears throat> getting late. Where to now? Upon arrival, we find Arlen in the Master Control Zone. Arlen, Head of Security, reporting to- uh, Oh, it's you, Stell. Sorry, I didn't recognize you at first. I was just thinking about ways to improve the Security Department's emergency response training. After all, this is also an important part of Project Revival. If the Legion dares to attack us again, I don't want things- I don't want to make things easier for them. Project Revival? Well, Project Revival is a set of post-disaster operational protocols that Lady Asta and the heads of the five departments collaboratively developed, using data gathered about the damage sustained by the space station. It also provides many other confidential in initiatives, such as the Curio Collection Squad, Security Zoning, and the Inter International Peace Corporation's Damage Assessment. Curio Collection what? Curio Collection Squad, Security Zoning, and the Damage Assessment of Inter International Peace Corporation are all part of Project Revival. But the implementation of Project Revival is not easy, and Lady Asta believes that the number of personnel exe number e needed exceeds our previous estimates. Sorry if it seems to come out of nowhere, but Stell, would you mind? Would you like to help? You protected me in the past when we battled those Legion monsters. You are truly a trustworthy, a trustworthy comrade. That's why I immediately thought of seeking your help. How come you never have anything good for me? Huh? Isn't this a good thing? It's nothing too difficult, really. The department, is, the, the department staff are busy with Project Revival. Can you please go to every zone in the space station to see if they need assistance? By the way, here is your commission fee. A total of 648... I... I'm not sure how much I should offer you. Since my living expenses are already covered by the space station, I have no idea how much money is worth. Hmm. I won't charge you anything. We can't put a price on our friendship. Hopefully with your help in Project Revival, Lady Asta will finally get a good night's sleep. <clears throat> and now we get a text message. It's a group text message with Abraham and Asta. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> it looks like it was sent to all people involved in this group message. Talking about Pro Project Revival. All I can say is, well, crying doesn't solve anything. Alright. So now we begin the quest called Road to Revival. Now we must head to the base zone and help the researcher in need. And we will find him right here, not that not that far. Upon ar upon arrival in the base in, in the base zone, we can talk to Abraham, former security staff, see what he has to say. Please rest assured that this zone is now completely under the con control of the Curio Collection Squad. Why is your voice shaking? Shaking? It's... I... It is not! You must have misheard. <sighs> calm down, Abraham. As a member of the Curio Collection Squad, you must always stay calm. Fear, if I picked up by others, if picked up by others, will not only make everyone distrust you, but also ruin your chance to avenge Alfred. Mrs. Sinkle transferred me down here from the obstacle detention, detection terminal so that I could follow the lead of Wen Ming... 
the head of the Curio Collection Squad to toughen myself up on the front line. But as soon as I came here, I encountered a problem about... about... reactivating the space anchor over there. Hmm, even I can do it. Don't put it like that! You are the big hero who saved the space station! That's, that's not something that anyone can do! You are being too modest. Well, actually, the activation itself isn't the difficult part. You just need to get close to the space anchor, and the biological polarity of your body will be enough to activate it. The real challenge is all the monsters along the way. Back when I was working on, at the obstacle detection terminal, they were nothing but distant shadows that I could just brush aside. Then the invasion happened, and when I heard that they got Alfred, my heart began to fill with, with hatred. But when I came and became a member of the Curio Collection Squad and met them face to face, all I felt was fear. At that moment, Alfred's fading eyes flashed in my head. I felt short of breath, with cold sweat all over my body and, and my legs trembling. What a loser, right? I couldn't just find the courage to go through with it and activate the space anchor, and it had been like this for several days. Hmm, leave it to me. Let's go together. We can look out for each other. Uh, no, 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 I, I can't. I'll just get in the way. Stell, please activate the space anchor. I am counting on you. All right. Looks like he's too scared to go in and deal with all the monsters. So it is up to the Trailblazer to to deal with the lit to deal with the Legion. In order to go through, we must activate this control panel. <clears throat> all right, and here we are, and we find a chest here. And here's the break of the box. Now that we left the safe zone. We are now braced for combat. A couple breakable containers, and there's a door that we can that we can see if we can enter. Hmm. So we this this door is inaccessible for right now, but we do find an antimatter legion that we can deal with. Activating combat mode. No interest in conflict. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Now that we dealt with this antimatter legion, as we go inside, we can now we activate the space anchor. However, over there is an is a formidable foe that we can deal with. You can we if your level is strong enough, you should be able to take him on. But let's go grab this chest first. Is that all? All right, so as about this tough enemy, you have the option to to match the match the level of your characters to this enemy before you take him on, because this is a formidable enemy and he is guarding a chest. So I I will be taking care of that off off camera, as it's just like that void that void ranger that also that was also guarding a chest. Like I said, I will take care of those off camera. Now that we have activated the space anchor. Let's let Abraham know that the act the anchor is operational again. Uh, left, the hunt, the hunt on the left, harmony on the right, and erudition in the heart. It is done. What are you doing? Hey, you're back already? So soon? I've only recited this morale chant 167 times. Before you say anything, please allow me to finish reciting it, otherwise I will feel very uncomfortable. I understand. Thank you, you're very kind. The haunt on the left, harmony on the right, erudition in the heart, and preservation on the chest. Whew, okay. Well done, Abraham. Now let's get back to business. I see that the space anchor over there has been reactivated. Actually, when I was reciting the chant, I figured it all out. Since you've helped me complete my task already, I can now continue to stay on the team, and I will eventually hunt down the monster that killed Alfred and avenge him. I will prove to you that I have the courage to take that step before the long night of death. I hope this is not our last encounter. Farewell, Stell. 
And that we complete the road to revival. And now we have a new quest. And now let's head to the storage zone and learn about the revival declared by the researchers. Upon arrival, we can now talk to Hinkle, the head of ecology. What is this? Battle of intellects is, is a source of pride? Physical exertion brings shame? It's complete nonsense! So physical labor doesn't count as work now? Today, I'm going to show them all what real work is about. Here, here. All staff present, attention please. Herda Space Station is undergoing a difficult period of revival. In the battle with the Legion, some of our colleagues were slaughtered by monsters and their cold bodies were thrown into the silent space. The cyber attack has erased years of research efforts. The damaged curios are slowly disintegrating in a weightless environment. Everything within sight has been turned into a wasteland and monsters are still roaming around our, in our camens. No matter how many dazzling achievements you have made on your own, we can no longer afford to live like hermits. We need to mobilize every member of our staff, put down our inherent prejudices, and work together to recover the lost curios and repair the damaged cabins. So inspiring. If you don't mind, I don't want to hear any more complaints about physical labor, nor do I want to see anyone putting off work. If you are interested in curio recovery, please report to the curio collection squad under Mr. Wen Ming in the base zone as soon as possible. Those who are interested in repair work, come to me now to learn the process. I can help with the repairs? Good, good. Are you the young lady who helped out in the master control zone? I have a special task for you. 45 meters out of the door from where we are now is a major road defect. I've checked and the small ordnance depot on the other side of the defect is swarming with monsters. I'm afraid ordinary staff won't be able to deal with this. Don't worry, just leave it to me. Yes, make sure to repair the road and eliminate the monsters at the end of it. I have many other matters to attend to. Please report back to me when you finish the task. Alright, so now we must repair the gap and take out the Legion Abomination at the end of the path. So now... And now it's this way. And here we have a puzzle that leads to the chest at the other side. Now, this is an unearthly marvel. Unearthly Marvel is made from special optical materials. When put in direct contact with life forms, the touch blocks will be illuminated. Light up all the blocks to turn them into a physical path. You can use certain blocks to teleport. When you tread on one such block, you will be teleported to another of the same color. Be careful how you use them. So the key is, you want to light each one of them, and every one has to be lit once you reach the end. So this is the simple one, so let's let's take the direction. Like this. So that's and, how it works. And now we can claim our chest. Looks good. So now we have an antimatter legion over there. But even though it's level nine, but we're strong enough to deal with it. Activating combat mode. Try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Fighting is meaningless. Scared yet? The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> Let's go. You. Huh? <coughs> Let's make it a conflict resolved. Now that we took care of that antimatter legion, we can take a look around and find some collect and we find a collectible here. All right. It appears that this is the only monster we found. So now we can report back to Hinkle. But before we do, we can take a look around and find a collectible. And here we find a chest. Yep, make sure you explore your surroundings before you leave, so you don't miss out on any particular hidden rewards, even chests. There's a strange voice in here. As we investigate this... 
The strange voice is saying something over and over, and you trace it back to the source and listen carefully. The, the, this voice seems to contain some kind of a point, poignant meaning, but all you can make out is the word king. Are there tools aboard the space station to translate it? Then you notice a yellow card note that reads, Can anyone understand what it's saying? My authorization isn't high enough, so I can't borrow the unbearable weight. So this is something that's going to be looked into down the road. Here's another collectible, and by grabbing these collectibles, you get, a, you get an achievement that I just got. This achievement is called Dissertation Proposal. Collect 10 readable items in the Herd of Space Station. You'll find similar uh, achievements like this, but in, in different parts, in different worlds. Now that we arrived, we can tell Hinkle the good news. Young lady, you're back! Let me concentrate and inspect your work. There is a 0.5 millisecond time delay between the sound reaching both ears, which indicates that the source is in, is in the 3 or 9 o'clock position. The sound is much louder than the left ear, which confirms the 9 o'clock position. That means the monsters in the 3 o'clock position have been eliminated! Good job! Um... Such an incredible skill. It's just sonar positioning, nothing to brag about. In the Herda Department of Ecology, we deal with all sorts of cosmic creatures every day. Developing this kind of ability is just part of our training. The staff of Herda Spray Station possess many different abilities. After meeting a few of us, you won't be surprised anymore. In short, thank you for your contribution to Herda Space Station. This is the reward I managed to secure for you from lead researcher Asta. Please take it. Thank you. You seem to care a lot about this place. Back when I was an unknown researcher, I was told by the first group of people who worked on the construction of Herda Space Station, this universe is never friendly. Rather, it is vast and dark. In this vast universe, there are countless pairs of eyes staring at the space station with various intentions. Some covet its curios, while others envy its neutrality and freedom. Others despise it or see it as a chess piece that can be destroyed and trampled on at will. Perhaps we researchers are the only ones who understand the joy, sadness, epiphany, and companionship that it has brought us. Which is why it is up to us to give everything we have to protect it. That's one way of putting it. Took the words right out of my mouth. And now we have another person to deal. And that is... Wen Chichi. So we find Wen... Back in the Master, back in the master, control, master control Zone. Now, Wen Shichi is the an internals purchase officer, and this is a world shop. Every world contains a world shop. You can explore a world to obtain its unique currency and use this currency in the corresponding world shop to purchase recipes, relics, and materials. Once you've spent enough of the unique currency, you will also receive corresponding rewards. Let me double check everything. Research topic, no progress. Research progress report meeting, canceled last minute. Performance review criteria under evaluation. Good, everything's in place. Now this is the best time for scientific research. Uh-huh, I don't think I've seen you before. Nevertheless, it seems to be our fate to meet each other like this, especially during the leisure time away from work. Hmm, you don't look very busy. That's not true. How busy am I should not be judged by any existing object projects. But whether any brainstorming is happening in my head, this is my work philosophy. Although I may seem pretty leisurely, deep down I do care a lot about the space station's restoration after the Legion invasion. Have you noticed how intertwined my eyebrows are right now? That's how much I care about the space station. Now, now here, here we have, here we can find some. Here, here, let's take a look at his shop first. Now, the currency we have. Now the currency we we have is herdarium, however you want to pronounce that, herdarium. This is currency that we're only able to spend on so, on items here in Herda Space Station. So here we can find a lot of goods, and any purchases that are counted in the cumulative in the cumulative spending. So the cumulative spending goals and rewards can be viewed here. So if you spend a certain amount, you will be able to claim these these rewards. So this is the rewards that we can that we get. All right, so 
this is what he's got to offer. We can we can we can grab materials, materials, relics, and now this one is a is an idol on level for 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 the trailblazer. But I'm currently 300 300 herdium herdium short. But I'm going to say I'm going to save them. I'm going to save them for right now. All are at staff discount. Per now let's go. Let's get right to the quest. I heard you need help here. The Majestic Legion, the Chaos in Herda, the Curio Cabinet, we can never seem to get a break from it all. Time to bid farewell to research and retire to a quiet, leisurely life. <clears throat> Excuse me? Who are you? Didn't I see... Didn't you see where I, I was singing? Where are your manners? It's not often you get the chance to waste time like this. Enjoy it while you can. If not for all the turmoil going on, I would still be locked up in the cabin during their so-called research. I've already made it this far, and with a full head of hair at that, no need to worry about other people living better than you. The worst that can happen is we all perish together. Look at it this way. Even if there's a neutrino burst that heralds destruction, it's still worth it to see such a beautiful sight. I'm so happy now to be able to freely waste my own life. Just so happy. Do you need help with anything? What do you say? You've already shared some of my joy, so you may as well share some of my chores. We in the Department of Implement Arts have received orders to take stock of the various losses of the space station. That includes evaluating areas like the railway platform. All assets damaged by the Legion in the area, whether mobile or immobile, must be photographed and reported to IPC. My hands are already full, so why don't you lend me one? Don't worry, there'll be something in it for you too. Hmm, I'll be on my way then. <clears throat> and I'll be waiting for you here, humming some tunes. The cosmos is indeed a sight to behold. Alright, so we need to snap a photo of the Astral Express and a photo of the broken robot. And, and so we, we must now head to the Herda Supply Zone. As we arrive... As we arrive, Don Hong... There's Don Hong's standing right over here. But we will talk to him once we're done with this quest. And the broken robot is right here. So here we have another tutorial. Photographic recognition. Press to enter the photographic recognition mode. If there are identifiable objects nearby, the button will begin to flash. The view can be moved and rotated once the camera is launched. Search for recognizable objects nearby. A target with the ring mark is detected. Hold still until the recognition is complete. Tar a target with the yellow mark is detected, which means which needs to be manually photographed. All right. So now let's so now let's go to camera mode and identify. And this is it. Now you have the op whenever you're taking pic taking pictures, you have the option to either edit or save it. All right, that photo is done. So now let's take a picture of the Astral Express. So this one we need to move it manually, and there it is. Now that we have the pictures, we can hand the photo over to Wen Shichi. Upon arrival, we can now share the photos to him. All are at staff discount prices! It can't get any cheaper than this! We meet again! Are you here for a vacation this time? Feel free to take a seat next to me and have a break. I took a picture of everything. Back already? You're fast! Here, I have plenty of blank space in this ledger. Let's see what you managed to capture. The Astral Express. Well, strictly speaking, the Express isn't part of the space station. Hey, you're one of those Express folk, right? I'll do you a favor and add its damages to the books. The Broken Robot. A streamlined body? A silver-white metallic luster? Is this the robot that Aztec ordered? I have to admit, she has great taste. Are these enough? More or less. I've put it, all, I've put it all in the ledger. You can take a look now. In the Herda Asset Damage Evaluation List. <laughs> That's a lot. I cannot read it all. But that is a lot of I, a, a lot of stuff in the list. Are we? Do, are you done yet? Don't just don't just nose around. There are only a few times that concern you, and if there's nothing wrong, I'll take the photos. There are thousands of items on that list. You don't say. An IPC will reimburse every one of them. There's no need to be coy about it. Okay, I'll sort out that the ledger for submission later. You should go get some rest. And now, we, we now officially complete the Road to Revival. So, after doing all these tasks, I believe Stell is now ready 
to make your decision. So now we must head back to the Hurtus, the Hurtus Space Station Supply Zone and find Himiko. And sometimes around we find memory bubbles, like this one. Memory bubble unable to communicate. Bubbles are floating in the air with the colorful glow gliding on their surfaces. For some reason, they form an image that seems to carry a profound meaning. You are sure you saw you saw a red sun descending into the snowy mountains, and a girl in a robe falling under the tip of a sword. You have, or you have even heard someone softly laughing. Everything is real, and it is not in your imagination. We could touch the bubble. You ex ex Stella extends her arm, and her fingertips stops extremely close to the bubble. Nothing happens. Perhaps you, should, perhaps you should ask more information from someone who knows what it is. Himiko is just right at the Astral Express, but along the way we find Don Hong. Oh, it's you. Do you have something on your mind? You're really good at taking care of others. Oh? Well, what did I do? Your judgments are always accurate. <laughs> it's about being observant at all times, and carefully making the best choice for the situation. You can do it too. I think you're not bad yourself. I didn't think you approved of me. If you're referring to what I think about you joining the Astral Express, you're overthinking it. My position is simple. It doesn't matter to me. I suggest you ignore my opinions and make your own choice. You don't seem to... you don't seem like someone who likes to travel. Being on the Express isn't exactly the same as traveling or adventuring. The Astral Express symbolizes trailblazing. You understand? Trailblazing implies the unknown, be it unknown risks or unknown rewards. In my opinion, the unknown is no more terrifying than the known. In fact, the unknown signifies something we can control and change. I understand. Mm. Okay then. Let me think things over. Don Hong gives a slight nod and shifts his focus somewhere. And straight up ahead we find March. Do you want me to come along? Do I even need to say it? I think we're becoming fast friends. Isn't that enough? But you look like you've got something on your mind. Come on, out with it! Oh, how time flies. Getting nostalgic already? You know, when you were passed out, all I thought was I had to look after you. And then you picked up the bat? Just incredible! In the blink of an eye, you knocked that big fella into Mr. Yang's black hole and saved me. I still haven't thanked you properly yet. Nah, we're not splitting up here. How did you join the Express? I'd like to know too. I was already on the train when I woke up. I was just drifting out there in space and got picked up by the Express. Amazing, right? Does that thing, does that kind of thing happen often? Crazy stuff like that? Not too often. It sure freaked me out. But every encounter I've had since coming aboard the Express has been strange to say the least. For example, going to the desert to catch something called a sandfish, correcting a gravitational field to flip an upside down castle, or almost getting my head cracked open by a galena ball falling from the sky while trying to avoid a sleeping reindeer on the road. Huh. Looking back now, it all seems quite dangerous. But I had the crew there with me, so the problems didn't seem all that bad. I'm thinking about if I should get on the express. Of course you should! Why wouldn't you? There's only four of us now, plus Pom Pom. Each of us can have our own carriage to sleep in. You wouldn't have the heart to leave your carriage unmanned, would you? Hmm, I don't know what the carriage is like. Then come aboard and take a look for yourself. 
Let me think things over. I'll be waiting for you. Alright, with that being said, I believe Stell has made her choice. But before we do, there's another memory bubble over here. It's about digestion. Let's touch the bubble. You extend your arm and your fingertip stops screaming. Oh, let me read the detail. For some reason, they form an image that seems to carry a profound meaning. You are sure you saw a red sun descending into the snowy mountains and a girl in a robe. <clears throat> so we pretty much get the same information as the previous one. Once we're done, we can now talk to Himiko. It's time for Stell to make her choice. So, have you thought things through? I still have something to talk to you about, Himiko. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, speak your mind. Thank you. <laughs> There's no need to be so formal. You helped us defeat that big fella anyway. Plus, if we keep making pleasantries, we'll waste a whole day. You've done me a huge favor by defending the space station from the Antimatter Legion. And know that while Herta may not admit it, she owes me one. She won't refuse me if I ask for a favor in return. And it's probably not too much to ask for a rare item from the space station, right? How about we continue talking on the Express? I'll make you a cup of coffee. My special blend. Hmm, have you taken care of everything you need? <laughs> I was ready ages ago. I've been here so many times before. It should have just been an ordinary trip for me. But everything's not so ordinary anymore, is it? Walking the same path over and over will never be the same. There will always be something new. That's the meaning of trailblazing. What's the next stop for the Express? As always, to follow in the footsteps of Akivili. Sometimes we stop on other worlds, and we'll continue to do so. There are countless next stops in the galaxy. I love the vast reaches of space, and the Express does too. I want to seek out new worlds, and the Express wants to return to its former path. Why invite me to join? Because you're different. Because of the Stellaron? Well, that might be the biggest reason. It's not the only one. I think you need a chance. A chance to discover just how different you really are from everyone else. Everybody keeps telling you how special you are and how you have a Stellaron inside you. But that's already plain as day to you. And no matter who tells you, be it me or Herta or anybody, it's not the same thing as feeling it yourself. You have to experience enough to know if you've gained or lost anything because of the Stellaron, and to know who you really are. Learn to control the Stellaron, and then you can control your destiny. The Stellaron might still be an enigma, but the fact of the matter is, it's a part of you. And you have to embrace this before you can move forward into the future. So, have you thought things through? I want to join the Express. Then come with me. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express. And everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. 
I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. <coughs> so now we have a new feature, the Interastral Guide. Complete the operation briefing according to the instruction to obtain the rewards. So now let's now let's go ahead and select the the Interastral Peace Guide. And now we have the operation briefing. So we can now claim these rewards. And these are the different features that you can, that you, that you can try and do to earn the rewards. And the, here's the basic training, you know, skill and skill points, energy and ultimate, and weakness break. Completing these, you'll get, you'll get some rewards out of it. So let's claim these. So I opened 10 treasures. I completed the the simulated universe and <laughs> the second adventure, second close beta, and lingering shadows. And once we complete the, once we complete total of five, we can now claim another a new, another set of rewards, and that for part one, and then we can move on to part two. <clears throat> and now, now Stell meets Pom Pom the conductor. Don't don't let his size fool you. He can really talk you down. <laughs> so now we can take a look around the patrol car. Here we find Himiko. It seems that Himiko is a is a is a big coffee drinker. If you like coffee. And over here we find Well Yang. Oh, it's you. How do you feel? Hmm. Full of energy. <laughs> Great. Looks like your stamina is really quite special. In any case, I have to thank you for saving March. I couldn't just stand by and watch. It's good that you think so. <laughs> Someone with that mindset and the actions to back it up, that is the true meaning of the word hero. However, as long as the Stellaron is still in your body. You should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again. But I won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station, you must be tired. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. So this is Welt Yang. Now, Welt is a is a five-star character, which you can which you can use we can acquire by warping from the standard banner, and which and he pretty much explains why you know he stopped he, he stopped Stell after after Stell saved March, and that was to ensure that the Stella Ryan within her doesn't doesn't spiral out of control, causing catastrophic results. And let's see what Himiko has to say. What do you think? Does the Astral Express look the same as you imagined? As I expected, it looks like a train. I feel like it's missing something. March said something like that at first, too. Seems like you young people have similar tastes. Oh, right. March and Don Hung should both be in their rooms right now. You can go look for them. You youngsters should get along well. Are their rooms fun? Oh, you know young people. Their rooms always reflect their personality. You can go and... Have a look around. Also, don't mind Pom Pom's antics. They're actually pretty interested in you. It's just that we haven't had new passengers on the Express for a long while. All right, I won't steal Pom Pom's thunder. If you have any questions, just go ask our conductor. All right, so we're still looking around the, the parlor car. Let's see if we can find March and Don Hong in their rooms. Hmm, it appears we can't go into we can't leave just yet. But we can take we can still take a look around. Now this is an omni synthesizer. But we cannot use it yet until we until we complete a certain quest. Himiko likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back. 
Now, this is the final graph. You can choose to play whichever track you like, and you will encounter- you will, you will find some more discs during your journey that it can, featuring new themes. Now, the final graph can change the- you can change the music when they're on the express. By exploring various worlds, you can obtain new records to unlock new tracks. Alright. Okay, so we should be able to go this way. Hey! Y y you don't have any questions to ask Pom Pom? <laughs> is it because you think Pom Pom talks too much? Or is it Pom Pom's age? You youngsters gotta learn to bridge that generation gap. <laughs> well, Pom Pom. <sighs> I guess Pom Pom was more like. It's more like it was more like Pom Pom's way of saying this line. Whoa! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? <laughs> so, let's ask Pom Pom some questions. Hm, is that a phonograph? You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. Hmm, where is March 7th's room? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Ah, oh, Pom Pom remembers Himako saying that you saved her. Mmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. About Don Hong's room? Don Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives. Ah, uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. Mm, that's all my questions for today. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Alright, so now we can go check out the passenger cabins. Alright, the first cabin on the left. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Hmm. Who's that? It's me, Stell. Ah, oh, it's you. The door is not locked. Come in. Hmm, so Don Hong is in there. So this is Don Hong's room, or the archives. Can I help you? Just looking around. Feel free. This is open to everyone on the Express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I enter the collected data into the Archives data bank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters, and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the data bank. Do give it a go. So now let's use the Express data bank. And you can see there's his bed there. That's a nice floor he's got. And nice desk. The data bank stores various information collected during trailblazing expeditions across the universe. We can open the character screen. And then we can view the character details, starting with Stell. In the data bank, you can view each character's story and voice lines. Choice isn't as elusive as it may appear. I'm not done yet. Journeys never end. This is my will. March, lead the counterattack. I believe in you. Don Hung, let's make this quick. Yeah. And there's also some there's also all the all the other characters you'll encounter. But there are some but all these characters but all these characters you see, you'll come across them down the road. Now that we're done, we can now leave Don Hong's room. And now let's go into March 7th's room.
knocking on the door, but the there's door no response. Should I go in? Mm, just a little peek. Just one look should be fine, right? All right, so let's let's tour March seventh room. Hmm, it's nothing but power of cuteness. And look at all these pictures. A slideshow. We could take a look at the wall of photos. Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. After staring at it for a while, you realize that the memories on this wall aren't just your adventures. This is kind of creepy. Man, how did you manage to shoot some of these angles? You're pretty sure some of the pictures on this wall have been captured without a camera. Not even March 7th is there. This is totally mysterious. Here we have a dressing mirror. This mirror doesn't reflect your appearance. Maybe it only wants to show March 7th. And here we have her desk. There's her bed. What about her rest area? This cozy rest area is in stark contrast to Don Hong's sparse floor bed next door. And then here on, on her bed? March 7th's bed. Half of it is nearly is neatly made and the other half is not. And a pom-pom toy. A doll in the form of conductor pom-pom. So that's what they look like without clothes. Okay, that was weird. And here's her desk. March 7th's desk looks neater than her bed does. And that's that's everything we can interact in her room. So now let's go ahead and leave. To conduct a warp jump, all passengers, please gather at the main hall. All right, so now we must get a warm jump is coming. So now let's head back to the parlor car. And in, back in the parlor car, that we find March seventh. Uh, there you are. Wait, this is your first trip. So that should be double the excitement, right? I'm ready. I'm ready to go. But I'm still a little worried about what lies ahead. Uh, you're just like Mr. Yang. Always worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. Young people should be energetic. Here, let's do some relaxation exercises. The first step is to grab a hold of the root cause of your anxiety. You can't just grab something like that. Okay, I got it. You really got it, huh? The second step is to focus all your anxiety on that point. Is this some sort of mumbo jumbo about transferring consciousness? Uh, this is science. Don't get distracted. <sighs> focus. Now for step three. Yank out that anxiety and cast it away with all your might. Mm hmm okay. Well, I've cast out all the anxiety now. Really? I've never been able to do it successfully myself. What does it feel like? Like all your worries have been swept away? All right. And now, since we're, since we're about to get the warp chomp, I believe this is a stopping point for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. If you enjoy this video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. It really does help the channel out. You've been meaning to tell me you've been watching my videos and you're not subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! <laughs> you don't want to miss out on some of the amazing content I have to offer. Trust me, your time will be worth it. I do have a Discord server that you are more than welcome to join. The link is in the description box if you'd like to connect with me and my Starman fam. I post updates there as well. And trust me, we'll make you feel right at home. I do have a merch store over at the Galaxy Hound website. The link is also in the description box if you'd like to browse through some Starman apparel. I would love to see you guys fly my flag. And if you would like to support me more personally, you can become a YouTube channel member just by clicking the join button. 
My YouTube channel members, which whom I happen to call my star VIPs, will get a special badge next to the screen name. You'll see your name. You'll see your screen name at the at the end screens of my vid at the end of my videos. And you also have access to my custom emotes for my live streams and u video premieres on on YouTube. Now, if you if you really want to take take your channel membership to the next level, the the sec the higher higher level. Higher level perks will feature perks like early access to my latest videos up to one week in advance, advance and exclusive content. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for all the love and the support you have given me. It really does mean a lot. You guys are so amazing. I can't thank you guys for being for being part of this amazing community. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys next time as we continue the full story of Honkai Star Rail. Remember, rise up, be blessed, and smile.